was laying in bed and I realized that I was, well, I was comboing, but I was like laying in bed, like doing this combo. And I realized that I opened up this hand that is just like the nuttiest thing ever. Like it's actually insanely crazy good. So um, what I'm going to do here is that, of course, this is more or less a throwaway trash card that doesn't really matter, but everything else works so well. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to show you guys how to you do this line of play, do this combo. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I think it's just going to be a fun little combo line of something that I was thinking about while I was just laying. And well, I wasn't really laying, I was sitting. But I, as I was like just thinking about doing, maybe you guys can enjoy. There's three cards that are going to be proxied in this deck. Um, once we get to it, you guys will see what it is. Does it, be, does it make too much glare? Make sure. It does a lot of glare. Let's see if I can center it a little bit more. I got this new ring light that does some glare, but it's not terrible. It's great when I go live. Cool, whatever. I think that works. Um, so for the first thing, you guys already know, you guys got to make your brave lineup go off. So brave right there, you add your spell. Activate your spell. Summon out the token of your spell and place the continuous spell. There you go, cool. This is what you guys have go going on so far. It's nothing out of the or uh, ordinary just yet. I think it's still really good. Let me see. There you go. I think that might be better. Um, continuing on, the, f the next thing that I would normally do here would be try to like resolve this so add the spell I go back and then instead of continuing on by by going off and summoning out griffin what you're going to do is that you're just going to go ahead and add the griffin now but you're not going to summon it so you're going to discard your draco back and this is what it is you banish your zone your monster zones your spell and trap zones and then your graveyard so you activate draco back comes back on the field now you have this you're kind of chilling you're going off with your thing so link this away we've been over this super simple this effects brings back well this effect in graveyard brings back a token so special summons out a token i normally just kind of use this as the token because i'm already using a token link it away make sprint Prince effect super simple you guys already know you're gonna do your angler this is an alternative route I'm gonna show you guys so you won't end up on this effect you won't end up on toad this time but it's fine you don't you don't really need the toad uh, what you're also gonna do is that you're gonna save your griffin for your next turn so for your opponent's turn uh in case of dark ruler or whatever uh you overlay these activate giant special off of giant wait thinking 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 Now. Before we continue with today's video, don't forget to go check out my sponsors from Dank Rituals. They have some of the coolest playmats, deck boxes, oversleeves, even dice. They just came out with their brand new travel bag, and it is beautiful. I love it, and you guys will definitely love it yourselves. Make sure you guys click the link down in the description to go check them out. Once you summon out your beavers, resolve your jet, jets effect, search, starter. What I'm going to do here is that I'm going to link both of these away already and make a Pit Knight because Pit Knight is going to be very important in this deck. I like it a lot in this build, actually. And then from here, you're going to go into Giant. Giant's effect, special. And this is where the proxy card comes in because I haven't been able to find any of them anywhere. So I really need to pick them up. And it's hero kid it's just a level two that whenever he is special summoned he special summons out the rest of them from the deck so one who's got special summoned by giant and then two more 
it isn't like the coolest thing ever but it just allows you to extend your board and make such a nicer board um I, I, it's just it's just ensures that i always end on pit night and ip mascarena no matter what i think that's actually really important to keep in mind i think ip mascarena and pit night is really really good and then you haven't even used this effect to bring something back so just bring back anything at this point bring back jet and then or put jet over here of course and then this here and you're kind of chilling you you have the ability to now get rid of like both red and um and, and jet or whatever but at this point honestly your ret is just overextension that's just saying that you opened it uh most of the time what you're really going to require for you to build a board like this because this is like kind of irrelevant like it's not really necessary i'm going to show you guys that you guys can just do this without having this because it just takes up a lot of space and that's the reason why you have your griffin held for your follow-up so then like that you can have an omni negate on your opponent's turn uh it's a quick effect that you can use and then you also have the starter so you can use the starter later to use your starter against your opponent so let's say you already used the negate of griffin and then you can just bring out if you didn't have this in hand or you can still bring out carrot or anything like that this is just so happens to be that it was in my hand uh, i like this combo a lot i think this is really nice i think that these the hero kid is going to work really well because it ensures this and this is really really powerful uh this is also going to allow you because then like that you don't have to bring back anything that would be like toad unless you want to make toad and then here you ensure that you have something and then for unicorn and then you have like a discard fodder here which is really nice um but yeah i like this i like this play a lot i'm gonna redo it one more time just so you guys can see it slowly and we're gonna continue all right guys before we continue with today's video i wanted to make sure that you guys knew about my newest giveaway which is for this bls funko pop i am very excited to announce that at 2900 subscribers i will be giving away this pop there is a video already up on my channel. The link will be down in the description. Make sure you guys go comment. I want the BLS pop. I want the BLS in order for you guys to be able to enter this giveaway. All Thank right, you. What I'm trying to show is just these two. So these two are going to be the only things you're going to need. Of course, that could be a blue. Of course, that can be anything else you want it to be. Whatever. That actually does not matter. Blue or jet. I think that either one of these two, it's, it's just going to be the best thing to have. But, um normal summon gadget link away gadget special summon your link Rebo. uh on the graveyard effect you activate gadgets effect to special summon out a token from uh to special summon out a token it's a level two token so you can just special summon the token there you activate you you don't activate but you summon out your blue you use the effect of the blue you, just, you add your jet whatever you're doing right from here on you're gonna go ahead and use your token and your link Rebo, and you're gonna make your sprint sprints effect it's gonna activate and you're gonna foolish your nimble be nimble angler and you're gonna special summon out your two beavers the reason why it's so much easier to do it like this now it's because you don't have that other space being taken up by your token and whatnot right so here uh what i did last time is that i just linked away both of these and summoned out my pit knight here then here, you can even put it there in case of whatever. You can just go giant, giant's effect. This is in your hand, by the way. And then you still always have three Randall in your hand because you haven't you haven't used the other three Randalls, right? And then here, giant, giant's effect. This is where you're gonna special summon out your hero, your hero kid. You just go one, two, three. If you didn't have enough space to summon out the hero kid, so you could have just put him up there. And then whatever, for whatever situation, let's say you had the token, you would have just had the token there. But it doesn't matter. Uh, you're going to you're gonna just summon it there. And then you're going to use two of those monsters to link those away. For um, your elf, we're going to put that there because it's always good to not take up that spot. And then this... For a starter, you link both of those away. 
Mascarena. So you're chilling, you're doing pretty good. The other thing is that if you really wanted to be really smart, you could have had detached the sprint instead, and you could have just left the beaver under the giant. And why is that, right? Why would you do that? That's another way for you to then, on your opponent's turn, bring back the sprint, sprints effect, detach from the giant and compose a card on the field. Uh, it's just like little things like that, that when you think about them, they help you out so much. Uh, I think this deck has a lot of different different routes, different ways to play this deck. And that's just that. You still have this to set and then be able to sprite combo on your opponent's turn. And then you have three rando cards that, of course, can be bestials and whatnot. I think the hero, a hero kit is really nice. You guys should definitely try to see if you guys can pick it up. I think that they're really good pickups. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is just supposed to be a quick, short combo. Hopefully, hopefully you guys liked it. See you guys on the next video. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Don't forget that I have a Facebook group called Yu-Gi-Oh! Elites of Each. If you guys want to join us, all you got to do is just click the link down in the description. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to join our Elites of Each family. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah.